Hey there, Melamina here. Welcome back to my bikini competition journey. This is episode number 73, Refeed Day. Feed me see more. So I have been on very low calories for quite some time. I've been on 1400 calories um, for several weeks. I've, I've kind of lost count. I think it's probably been four weeks or so, or so um, that I've been on 1400 calories a day, um, which is pretty low. Uh, so we're now, I mean, I've been in a cut phase for quite some time, uh, getting ready for my show. So my coach wanted to do a refeed day, uh, so that we could take advantage of a bigger group, uh, of calories, like more calories, uh, to fuel another glute workout. So because I've been on this low calories for so long, I've been pretty fatigued and she knew that that would happen, obviously. Um, luckily, I haven't been like overly hungry. So everyone in my world has been pretty safe because I have not been hangry, which is nice. Uh, but I have been very fatigued. So my coach wanted to do a refeed. She didn't specifically say this, but she did say that um, she was doing a, an experiment as well. So I think what she's doing is kind of looking to see how eating throughout the day um, affects my body so that she can be better informed on what I need to eat, how often I need to eat, um, and how much I need to eat the day of my show. So um, let me back up just a little bit. A refeed is a boost of calories on one day after being in a calorie defi deficit for so long. So because I've been on the 1400 calories, I've still been working out and I've been doing cardio. So honestly, the combination of the lifting weights plus the cardio um, burns, according to my watch, now I don't know how real that is, but it burns about 900 calories um, doing those two activities. So 14 minus 900, uh, 1400 minus 900 is 500 calories I've been living on and that's not even including whatever calories it takes just to sustain my body So I have been operating on very low calories for quite some time No starving Marvin, that's my pet pet So <clears throat> Here's what the strategy looks like uh, or, or looks like I've already done this um, so number one is the day we wanted to do this the day before a glute day because in the bikini competition category in the bikini category um the glutes are kind of the the star of the show um you really want nice well-defined glutes you want them lifted you want a good shape to them and you want separation and definition um between the glutes and the hamstrings so we spend a lot of time focusing on the glutes. Every time I do three lower body workouts a week and by lower body, I really mean glute. It's very glute focused. We do a little bit of hamstring. Um, yeah, but really not, not much else. Even if I do like quads, like the front of the, um, of the leg, like it's never dedicated. It's just, they get worked because I just happen to be doing a lift that also kind of uh, works the quads as well, but I never like target them or anything. It's always, always glute focused. So we want to do this boost of calories to the day before a glute lift day so that we can really capitalize on those calories and I can lift very heavy, um, during that lift day, that glute lift day. So we increased my calories from the 1400 to 1930. And um, the second thing, the number two thing that we wanted to do was eliminate veggies um, just for this one day to see, you know, because veggies kind of inherently um, build gas and bloating and they can cause they can cause gas and bloating. So she wanted to eliminate that and we wanted to keep the fiber very low. Uh, number three for this refeed day was I was supposed to monitor the changes that happened after eating every meal. So she wanted me to take a front facing photo and then I had to give her a report after each meal of how my appetite was, how my leanness or tightness was feeling, 
especially in the belly area. And then also, how did my digestion feel? How was my belly feeling? If you remember, um, if you've been following me for quite some time, then you'll know that I was dealing with a lot of bloating and nutrition issues, and I've had to eliminate a lot of foods and food groups out of my diet to um, kind of combat that. <clears throat> After my show, I do want to re start reintroducing foods to see if I can pinpoint like what food what foods are still an issue. Um, and ideally, I'd love to be able to uh, really heal my gut and just be able to eat as many foods as possible. There's um, some strategies I know that you can do to kind of build the microbiome up again and get a variety of um, good bacteria in the microbiome so that it's used to eating a variety of foods. So that's my ultimate target. But for now, before my show, we're keeping it simple and anything that bugs me, we're just eliminating. And it's been like this for quite some time, like several months, a long time now. Okay, and then the fourth part of the refeed strategy is the um, morning after the refeed day, the day that I do the lifting, the glute lifts. Um, she wants a photo first thing in the morning that day and um, then uh, the same notes, so the same notes on my appetite, the leanness, tightness, um, sense of leanness and tightness, and then also the um, how's my belly feeling, how's digestion, digestion going, and then she also wants to know my weight. So um, because we've implemented new cardio, so my cardio has changed a lot, over this comp over this journey, the most recent thing that it was at was um, 30 minutes of a medium intensity steady state cardio, which steady state means you're just doing the exact same thing the whole time, medium intensity, and I was doing 30 minutes of that. So it has changed to three times a week. She wants me to do medium intensity, but intervals. And then twice a week, she wants me to do steady state at a low intensity. So the intervals are 30 seconds hard and then a 30 second moving recovery. So not as hard. Now, the nice thing about mine is that it's medium intensity. So it's less intense than HIT, which would be a high intensity workout uh, interval training, which I think people are a little bit more familiar with. So the particular day um, that I did my refeed, my day looked like this. It was, it was really intense. So my day looked like this. 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. do my low intensity steady state cardio for one hour because I'm supposed to do the, um, those particular cardio um, sessions fasted. So 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., um, the cardio. 6 a.m. have meal number one. Uh, by 6.30ish, I should be done eating, and I would take the photo and make the notes for meal number one. At 9.30 a.m., eat meal number two. By about 10 o'clock, I should be done. I would take my photos and make my notes. Um, then, because I'm not supposed to do cardio immediately before my lifts, I needed to have a break in the time frame between them and I needed to eat because I am not supposed to do my lifts fasted. So then right after meal number two and the photos and the notes, I um, did my upper body workout for that day, which took me about an hour or so, maybe a little bit of, you know, hour and some change. And then I needed to practice my posing. So I did that for like maybe 20 minutes or so. And it was really funny because this time when I practice my posing, usually I go in the yoga room and there's really nobody there and I'm, you know, I have my heels on and sometimes I even put my jewelry on and stuff and I do all my, my posing routine and then I dip out. But this time there was a class in the yoga room, so I needed to just do my, practice my posing in the gym. And yeah, there's like big mirrors and stuff around at different, um, spaces in the gym. So I just popped my heels on and away I went doing my posing routine in the middle of the gym. It was so funny. Um, this one guy came up to me and was like, are you, 
are you in a competition? I was like, yeah, I'm about to be. And he's like, okay, I was thinking you were either putting on dancing shoes or for competition. And I was like, well, technically they are still dancing shoes, but yeah, I'm competing. And then he wished me luck, which is super cute. So, okay, so I practiced my posing for like 20, 30 minutes, and then I hit the showers. And then uh, meal number three was from at 12.30. So by one o'clock, I should have been done eating, and then I would take my photos and make my notes. Meal number four at four o'clock, 4.30, photos and notes. And then meal number uh, five at 7.30 p.m. Ugh, I am not used to eating that late. And then by eight o'clock, I would do my photo and my notes. So I'm usually in bed or at least like very close to being in bed by about eight o'clock anyways, eight, eight, eight thirty, definitely asleep by nine. So this was really challenging um, towards the end of the day to be eating so late and then immediately be going to bed. Ugh, I did not love it. So um, that was how my life was laid out this refeed day. It was pretty intense, like having to clock when I was eating and like be on this very tight schedule and, you know, try to like have a normal day around all of these things. Also, it was, it was wild for sure. So um, she laid out the meals with the exact foods and the exact portions that she wanted me to do. Um, and then obviously the times as well. So normally I just work off of macros. She tells me how many grams of protein, how many grams of fat, how many grams of carbs I should eat, and then what my total calorie count should be um, for the day. And then I just work in however I want to structure my meals. Um, and then like I've said a couple of times already in this video, we've pretty much narrowed it down, down to like very specific foods right now because we're so close to um to my show so what i've been eating i always eat like whole foods but it is a pretty good variety i've been doing um turkey chicken and salmon uh i can do almond butter and some rice cakes and then for carbs i'm usually doing rice or sweet potatoes and um and then for veggies Right now, I was doing a, a veggie mix, but it seemed to be upsetting my belly a little bit, so we switched to asparagus. So those were um, pretty much the foods that she broke down for me for this refeed as well. She just told me what portions she wanted me to have so that it hit the macros that she wanted and the 1,930 calories. So it was still a combination of turkey, sweet potatoes, avocado. I have a lot of avocado on a regular basis. Um, salmon, coconut oil, oh, sauerkraut. Um, one of the things that really helps with your um, belly flora is having um, fermented foods like kimchi and sauerkraut. I have switched to only sauerkraut at the moment because it's a little bit lower on the sodium and I have a sodium range target that I'm supposed to hit. So I've um, eliminated the kimchi for now because it was higher in sodium. Um, coconut water, kind of coconut milk, my rice cakes, my almond butter, chicken breast, um, rice, and then she had me add salt to a couple of the meals throughout the day. So that again, I would hit like a particular sodium target. Um, so that was my refeed day. I She kept the meals smaller, which is why I had so many throughout the day. And um, I didn't feel overly stuffed. So in the morning, I could have quit eating at about halfway through that breakfast, but I continued, I finished it. And pretty much the theme for my appetite throughout the day was I wasn't very hungry. I was like kind of neutral. I could eat or not. didn't really matter. Um, and after I was done eating, I felt full but not stuffed. And then um, as far as the leanness, tightness goes, I could definitely feel that as the day progressed, I felt less lean and less tight, especially in the lower abdominals. Like I could feel my belly start to get a little bit bigger and bigger, not from like a, bo a bloating standpoint, but just, just like 
the sheer fact that there was something in my belly was kind of like making it a little bit distended. And then um, belly slash digestion was pretty good throughout the day. I mean, I never, again, I never felt bloated or uncomfortable. Um, digestion was good. The only thing that I would say was negative was um, after the 7.30 p.m. meal, I did feel like a little gross laying down um, and going to sleep immediately after that. But yeah, I mean, that was pretty much it. I will show you the photos that I took. Um, we will insert them here. I mean, hopefully it's subtle because everything was taken from a, a front facing view, but hopefully you can kind of see the progression of how my abdomen kind of changed throughout the day and um, how it looked the day after. So um, the day after when I did my glute lifts, I did feel, it's interesting because I still felt really tired, like my body felt really tired, but I did have enough energy or like more energy to go heavier so that part was really interesting like I was dying and did not want to go to the gym that day I really wanted to just stay in and sleep and I was supposed to do my medium intensity interval training cardio after my um glute lifts which I did but oof it took me way more time like I needed some rest and I ate like half of a meal um, before I went and did that, before I felt more energized and like ready to do the cardio. But the good news is I think I was able to put all of those calories to work and I am so proud of this. Excuse me, I just ate. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I am so proud of this though because I hit, so my hip thrust, uh, we do hip thrust every single time I do a glute workout it's like my pinnacle um, lift and this time I was supposed to go heavy I was supposed to do six to eight um, reps for four rounds which indicates when it's low reps you go heavy weight when it's higher rep you go lower weight so low rep high weight and I hit a personal best which was 285 pounds six reps holy crap that's a lot of weight to move so i'm really proud of that and um yeah i'd say their refeed was a success so i think that's about it i will end it there and um if you have questions comments concerns interpretive dances feel free to pop those in the chat below or you can dm me on instagram if you want to keep your question more private um, but yeah, if you have any questions on refeed, definitely let me know and I'll see if I can, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll see if I can flesh out that answer for you. As always, thank you so much for joining me for my competition journey. We are so close to the end. I can taste it. I'm so excited. And um, yeah, I will see you later. Bye-bye.